able to get through this interview. Not at all. You're yeah. just, Go ahead. yeah. So Dean, tell me about DeanReynoldsMedia.com. <laughs> Do you know who Sean Cannell is? Yes. So I was once interviewed by Sean Cannell and this is how he holds the mic. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, bro, <laughs> bro, that's not cool. And then I would hold it and then. Yeah. I love Sean. Yes. Roberta, Blake. Nick and D. Niman. Okay. No love for the ladies. <laughs> so now we know more about Dean Reynolds. <laughs> so basically, my agency um, really protects royalties for singers, songwriters, musicians, music creators, and so I'm bridging the gap between that and social media because a lot of the independent musicians don't live stream at all. They're not active on social media i've had people come up to me and say i don't have a face so i use my platform to teach people how to grow their social media platform that's why i have people like you on um last week i had um jen jen, uh, jen herman say it again jen herman <laughs> <laughs> jen herman Oh, Nick Newman. Oh, Sean. Oh, Roberto. And then you're like, Jen. He's, you're so not going to use his video footage. <laughs> this is not happening. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so you help people. Yeah. You help music artists build their brands and their bottom lines by leveraging social media. And yeah. you help them by protecting their copyright as well as their royalties. Is that right? That is 100% correct. So, for instance... Uh, you stream music online, you just go live on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook. You can't just play whatever you want, you know, unless those songs are part of the Facebook platform. Yeah. Like Mark signed like a, a multi-million dollar deal with a few record labels. That's why when you go to Instagram stories or Facebook stories, those songs are okay to use. So you're saying I just can't jack your songs and just put it all up on my intro? I can't do that? You can't. You're not supposed to. But it's exposure. Is exposure for who? Exposure don't pay the bills. Exposure does not pay the bills. And what I like, though, so there's fair use, and that's so complicated. There's a guy that's coming on. His name is Ian Corzine. Why do you always say the guy names all right, but then the ladies' names, it's like... Yeah, so it's you, your friend that came on. Your friend, you still don't know her name. It's Jen Herman. Yeah, that lady. Oh my God! This is this is done. End. Cut. Done. The show has ended. Thank you. <laughs> this is why I only do interviews online. <laughs> what? No, because I'm serious. Because like, you will not get through an interview. How do you be a robot? Pretend you're a robot. Right? Does the robot make noises? Make a robot noise. I don't know how to make that noise. <laughs> Malfunction. Err, err. <laughs> Shh. Other people are filming, Dean. So I just spoke with um, Kelly Noble Mirabella, and I told her that you sent me to her. Do you remember that? You don't. Yes, because you're asking me about bots. Yes. And I was like, if there's any person that you should talk to about bots, it should be Kelly Noble Mirabella. Yes, and I joined her group. I watch her videos every week about chatbots, and I now use chatbots. I'm a part of the mini chat community. You're a bot star? I am. You have a bot star move? Yeah. How's it go? Huh? Bot star, bot star. Uh, 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 uh. Um, how is it like when you saw Kelly Noble Mirabella on stage? It was really, really fun. She is so energetic. She has these different moves and these different poses and postures. Live. She's very engaging. And the way she broke down the chat box was really amazing. Yeah. Like, I can't wait till I get back home just to recreate some things and, and be more intentional. I think I'm afraid of what people are going to think and say. I'm not using it to the, its full to the fullest. Have you ever watched um, um, uh, Big Hero Six? Wait, that goes. Yeah, there you go. 
okay, so you're gonna create this bot and you're worried about what people are gonna think because you're not using it to its fullest potential. Is that what you just said? Yeah, well, those words flow from... Check, baby, check, baby. So I did create a ref URL, and but I have to send that to each in you know, each individual for them to be a subscriber. Yeah. So that's the issue. I need to really get that. The easiest way to do that is to offer people a hundred dollars to click on your link. I can test that for you. Cha ching! <laughs> I am not an influencer. I'm a big dork on camera. I was talking with Chris yesterday. Chris Strub loves Baby Shark. That is his favorite song. Chris Strub. Chris Strub. Yeah. Yes. Oh, let's do this. Let's, let's make a heart. Chris Strub. Why do you give me like one finger? It's supposed to be the whole. Crap. Yeah, Chris Strub. Why do you love Chris Strub? He dropped a lot of jewels. He's so knowledgeable. So I was talking to him like these conferences should have maybe like a, a copyright music component because we all stream online and don't have a clue about that side of it each conference has a different audience so um i need to look into vidcon vid summit i'm gonna be at vidcon really yeah what yeah i am speaking of vidcon i'm gonna, I'm gonna be on a panel with goldie chan and i really yeah hey, why is that so unbelievable <laughs> <laughs> What's up? They can't add a little brown sugar to the lineup. Um, excuse me. Stop. <laughs> oh, it started. I got. She is crazy.